Hello Year 10 and this is the second video on Paper 1 and we are looking at Paper 1 Question 2 and just like Question 1, Paper 2 does not disappoint in how exhilarating and exciting it is because we know that the language papers are oh so interesting. So Question 2 of Paper 1 is about language and it wants you to analyse language. It's eight marks, so it is worth double the amount that question one is asking for, and therefore you should spend approximately 10 minutes on it. I would try to keep yourself within 10 minutes because you want to leave yourself time for the chunkier 20 mark question that's coming in question four, and also the written part of the paper. Um, so paper one, question two. Very simply, here's some key facts. Number one, it will ask you about language. Number two, you need to analyse that language. Number three, it is worth eight marks. Don't write more than a page. Number four, and very simply, it will ask you on a, on a specific area of the text. So like question one, which asks you to look at lines such and such to such and such, this will also ask you to look at the text between lines such and such and such and such. So, it's on a language, you need to analyse that language, it's eight marks, don't write reams and reams for an eight mark question, think about three paragraphs, and lastly, and very simply, just look at the text that it asks you to look at between lines, whatever, to whatever. So, in this question, very simply, I think you need to write about three paragraphs on three specific points. You need to identify a key quotation, you need to identify the devices within that quotation, and then you need to say how those devices are effective. So let's go through an example together. We're going to look at the text that we looked at for paper one, question one, which is on the Italian boy and the bear being really courageous, etc, etc. So please reread the article now. Okay, and the, what we are going to look at is this question, how does the writer use language here to describe the boy's courage? So how does the writer use language here to describe the boy's courage? Look at between lines one and nine. So again, I would draw a line under line nine because we only want to look at that section on the text. Do not write about any other words <laughs> out of that section of the text. Within that section of the text, we want to find about three quotations which talk about the boy's courage. Within those three quotations, we then want to identify devices. We then want to analyze those devices and say how they are effective. So let's go through an example. One of the quotations that I have underlined, highlighted, I've decided to write about is face to face. They describes the boy as coming face to face with that bear. So there's my quotation. So I may say, in order to respond to the question, I would use the question. I would say, the writer uses language to describe the boy's courage in the words face to face. And I might identify that actually exaggeration has been used there. As we read the article, we begin to understand that the boy walked calmly and coolly away from the bear. He wasn't face to face with him. It wasn't like the bear's nose and his nose was touching as this quotation makes it seem. So therefore I would say exaggeration has been used here. And why? Why would somebody suggest that the boys become face to face with that bear as if their noses are touching? Well, it's because it makes that boy seem oh so more heroic, doesn't it? The fact that actually maybe he stared the bear out down in his eyes makes that boy, that 12 year old Italian boy, seem even braver than what he was. So I would say exaggeration has been used here to great effect because it makes that boy seem exceptionally brave. It heightens his bravery because the distance between him and the bear is smaller, has been shortened. Plus we've got that repetition face to face, we've got the repetition of face which makes it seem that again literally the boy and the bear's faces were really close together. Again heightening his bravery and heroism. So hence the writer uses language really cleverly to describe the boy's courage. 
because it makes it seem that he was much, much closer to the bear than what he actually was. And that's one of the paragraphs that I might write about in paper one, question two. And I would probably write another couple of paragraphs to respond to that question. Now, what would be really great is that you exhaust, that you analyse something in great detail and you keep analysing um, to, to as much extent as you possibly can. But again, focus on the language try things to avoid in this question. Avoid writing outside the parameters given. So don't write about anything past line nine. Second thing, I wouldn't write on structural techniques. That's not what it's asked you to do. It's asked you just to focus on the language. Third thing is pick quotations that you have something to say about. So many times I mark this question, this this question and people have written quotations and then really they've got nothing to say pick quotations that you can find something to say about and lastly don't write reams and reams avoid summarizing or just describing or explaining the article just stick to analyzing those key quotations what the devices are and what they are doing thanks